Hello, is that Dr. Atherton? And I'm gonna crush your pawn, crush your pawn, crush your pawn, crush your pawn. What is your favorite shade of green? Yeah, this is a question that's, look, um, if we have to give this question the half that it deserves. My defense is impregnable. I'm just ferocious. I'm gonna eat your children. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, these are all very deep, deep questions. I think the deepest question is how on earth and where did you learn to speak to a dog? Welcome to the best interview slash Q&A that you're ever going to have. Let's be realistic. No one is going to do this better than me. Are you talking to them or are you talking to I'm me? I'm talking to you. <laughs> How does it feel to be in a, let's face it, the biggest moment of your career? <laughs> Douche! That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. It's finally happening. I have managed to secure an interview with the one, the only, Muhammad Hijab. Round of applause, everyone, for Muhammad Hijab. I'm just going to add some. As uh, Rodney would say, uh, let's move on. Who's Rodney? <laughs> He's a pedestrian. <laughs> pedestrian. He holds no significance. <laughs> oh, are you Rodney? You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. Wallahi, you're finished. We have an ocean. We have a giant. Friendly giant. Of the champ, please. We have a meme. What the hell is this? A'udhu Billah! We have a homo sapien. I was waiting to see what you are going to say now. <laughs> we have somebody who likes to breathe oxygen. I don't like it, it's quite involuntary. We have somebody that likes to walk using their legs. Some people still like to do the crawling when from childhood. Uh, but you have grown out of that. I've grown out of that and, and the reason why I come to the conclusion I had to stand up in bipedal way is because you know a lot of people would say that you know at the end of the day um, Why at the end of the day though? Why, why can't this conversation <laughs> happen at the, at the beginning? <laughs> at the end of the day you're quite tired. Sometimes it depends on your, your, your shift. In so you were talking about the pedo, a pedo, P bipedo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so walking um, upright you know, two legs. I decided when I was maybe about one years old, I decided, you know, actually, it's not going to be the case. I'm going to be on my, look, I mean, some people decide, like you said, some people decide to be on their, on their fours or on all fours and live their life like that. But I decided that it's not going to be like that. And I made that decision that I'm going to stand up. You said one years old. Why did you, why did you? I made a mistake. Why, why, why would you do that when you're on the most important platform you're ever going to be on? <laughs> Let's start off first with... <laughs> What what name do you because I'm trying to petition Ali Dawa to to change his name to Ali Nizawa. <laughs> I, was, I was I was actually gonna go for Dawat. Is, Ali Dawat. Because <laughs> you know what? Because <laughs> you instead of your your face going stronger, you get doubts in the religion. <laughs> really, really. Ali, I think it's time. You're gonna to have to shut down your channel now. Uh, so just close it. There's, there's no point. <laughs> no point being around anymore. I think. Uh, just. Uh, I prefer to be called Ali Needs Dawa, but I'm quite doubtful about Ali Doubt. I'm gonna start with a question that's really been bothering me for for quite some time. I'm not gonna not gonna <laughs> beat around the bush. Uh, not gonna lie. Uh, hmm. I'm going to be, you know. <laughs> Going to be a bit, you know, I'm not gonna hide from the people, you know. <laughs> Muhammad Hijab, yeah, how potato mm. are you? The thing is, this is a good question about me being how potato because the question, what well, first I have to define, I mean, we have to have a robust definition of what a potato <laughs> is. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, the answer is, I'm not potato. Whatever that that notion may entail, mm. at all, 
And mm. I can say that with, with significant with, certainty. With that emphatic enunciation no, I know, I know, listen, of... I know what I'm talking about. You oh. asked me about the potato question. And look... You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. Wallahi, you're finished. What is your favorite shade of green? Yeah, this is a question that's... Look, um, if we have to give this question the haq that is, it deserves. The question of what is my favorite shade of green? First of all, I have to have good definition. So... Shade, what is really a shade? I mean, to what extent is the word shade encompassing of all that is between, mm. right? Because some people, they say that, you know, a shade is, it can only work if there are two extremities. Yeah. So obviously this is a, a trivial question in many ways, but this is actually very oh. important. What is my favorite shade of green? Who am I? That's a very good who am answer. I? Yeah, who and am I? I, 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 so I can't give you. Uh, just this, hold oh. on, sorry, you asked a question, so oh. just let me answer. I thought, I thought so that was green. The answer. Uh, how do we know green exists? I mean, is is the green that I see? Yeah. Is the green that I experience? Is the green that I know? Is it the same green that you know and the same green? I, I mean, at the end of the day, a dog is has sees the world in black and white. If you go and ask a dog, what is your favorite shade of green? I'd be what is your favorite shade you of green? No, no, but I'm, for example, the, the experience of the dog. I mean, your doctor do little. How, how do you know that? The, I mean, the experience. Look, for example, if I look yeah. at a, a tree, yeah, and the tree has different shades of green, and I decide, okay, this is going to be the, the shade. That I, then you I start prefer, talking I prefer, to dogs. Yeah. The, 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 now, is the dog now? The dog can I have a preference for a shade of green because. Will mm. it, is it will, will his experience of green be the same as mine? I don't think it knows. Could, could we say the dog knows green, but in a different way? I mean, these are all very deep, deep questions. I think the deepest question is, how on earth and where did you learn to speak to a dog? Let's move on. What are your favorite antibiotics? Yeah, and this is, this is a question I ask my doctor all the time. <laughs> <laughs> favorite debate? That I watched. Yours. Yeah, of yours. Of mine, I mean, David Wood. David Wood, yeah. No doubt. If David Wood was at the name changing office and he said, Muhammad Hijab, and you're like, how'd you get this number? And then he goes, don't worry about that. What should I change my name to? What would you say? Abdullah. Abdullah. So David Wood, if you're watching, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Trust me, he's already subscribed. He's watching every single one of your videos. Yeah? Oh yeah, there's no doubt there. Yes. Mm. And if the people haven't subscribed to your channel already, I think they're, I think they're, they're definitely on the wrong path. Repent! Repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala! What's your favourite quote of a, 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 a non-Muslim writer? That's a really, really tough question. At this moment in time? It comes from Nietzsche. Okay. But he says that if you have a why, something to the effect of if you have a why, then any how is possible, or something like that. Mm. Which of these would you add to your pizza as a topping, if you could? Hydrogen, kryptonite, potassium, or calcium? In what form? In the solid form. <laughs> I don't know which one is the, the least damage. What is your favorite insect? Ant, 100%. There's no doubt about that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Why? How come? It's a fascinating insect. There's a whole chapter in the Quran, chapter 27, that's just like Nahal is a close second. But Nahal is a bees, but the ant is just fascinating, man. Sociologically, Sabur Ahmed told me this actually, which I found fascinating as well. He said that sociologically, ants are most similar to human beings. Curry or fast food? Curry is the best, it's my favourite food, so yeah. it's going to trump everything, yeah. If, if you could have tea with three Islamic figures other than the Prophets and Sahaba, who would they be? Abu Hanifa. Abu Hanifa, one. Okay, I've got a faqih, yeah, so Abu Hanifa is a faqih. Let's get someone from something else. Al Kisai, who's, who's actually got a, he's got a qira'ah of Quran, but he's also a lughawi, so that kills two birds with one stone. I'll choose a, maybe Hassan al-Basri. Maybe Hassan mm -hmm. al-Basri, because he was one of the top tabais. If you could have tea with three non-Islamic figures, who would they be? Well, uh, alive or dead? Dead. dead. Buddha. 
<laughs> if he really if he really lived <laughs> I want to see what was he was he saying what was he was he what was he like you know Aristotle there's no doubt about that mm. no doubt about that okay well since I'm going with Aristotle let's go with his student Alexander the Great mm. what's invisible but you wish people could see love yeah yeah you wish people could see love yeah yeah, because then, then you. So when you say to your partner, "I love you," and she sees there's there's no love there, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of. Uh, if people saw how much people other people love them, then there'd be. There'd uh, be broken there'd be relationships everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> there'd be that, but there'd also be very good ones as well. Yeah, yeah I think a lot okay. of because you can't prove love. I mean, you can't because it's, it's a first person mm. subjective experience. You can't prove it. What would you tell fifteen year old hijab? Well, I, I didn't start memorizing the Quran at 15 I said to him go memorize the Quran From now And I said to him also uh, Get your Arabic stronger quickly Start doing that stuff now And yeah I was praying at that time So there's a few things I would say Quickly go and do it before Because you're going to reap the fruits and rewards of it Later on How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? How big is the elephant? Is it a, a baby elephant or a big Average one? sized elephant <laughs> What are the chickens doing to it? If they peck at it <laughs> No I don't think yeah. they will say that. No, How would the, How would the elephant Be positioned Standing so Well and the chickens are at, at, at all sides From all sides From all angles uh, Then there's only So much chickens. One even grabs the tail And climbs up <laughs> Pecking at his head Yeah so there's only So much sh- There'll be economies Of scale here There'll be you know After about a thousand Chickens there's yeah. no more Need for any more And whether a thousand Chickens can kill The elephant or not is I, I think a question of great dispute. What's the most imaginative insult you can think of? I, I liked the insult that I was reading Augustine um, in his reply to the Macchins. Uh, Augustine is uh, uh, he's a Christian oh. Christian theologian, probably the top three, if not number two, maybe after Paul. Okay, he, I would say Paul then Augustine, most influential Christians of all time, Christian scholars. That's that's my rating of him. But anyway, he he. I like the way he would insult his uh, opponents in his writings by referring to them as the little ones. I actually start to incorporate in some of my... <laughs> some of my what accent can you do? Do you know when I used to work in sales, yeah? I used to work in um, sales and uh, brokering and all that stuff back in the days when I was younger. I used to uh, have a script and I tried to... Because you can speak... I'm speaking like this, you can tell that I'm... London, and you can tell that I'm probably ethnic as well. You can tell all of that from just the way I speak. If you didn't see my face, you'd see, you'd know. And if they didn't, if they didn't think that I was a white man, middle class white man, they probably wouldn't see. Uh, they wouldn't give me the same kind of um, respect. Mm. So I had to change my accent to from kind of this accent that I'm speaking to Spanish of, <laughs> to to a more royal uh, Queen's okay. English like. Oh, okay, go on. Hello, is that Dr. Atherton? I've got wow. something that I speak like that. Yeah, I genuinely speak like that go throughout on, the whole day. On. Hello, is that Zishan? <laughs> and I say, I've got some, look, I've got a really important proposition to make for you. Oh, the that's guy really has, good. Yeah, and, and, and look, it's it's not what you think it is, and I just like change it. My hands are tight. All right, what what impression can you do? I can try and do Mike Tyson. Go on then. Because there was this famous speech that he did, yeah? When he won one of the things. That he did. My style is impetuous. <laughs> I, my defense is imp- impregnant. I'm just ferocious. I'm going to eat your children. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> my style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat your children. Who do you go to the gym with? Dr. Zakir Naik or Ahmad Dida? I know what's going to happen if I go with Ahmed do that. Go on. I'm going to get humiliated in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, uh, do you think I should go to the treadmill? With that third question. <laughs> <laughs> should I go to the treadmill? I'll ask you. If you're alive, your legs are very weak. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't had that many carbohydrates. <laughs> Muhammad Hijab. I think it's fair to say if you've made it this far in the video you have thoroughly wasted your time and 
we, we sincerely apologize for that. <laughs> but do you have any uh, projects coming up? Any debates or anything that we need to look forward to on yes. your channel? There are things coming, but the the whenever I strike, I do what Mike Tyson says. Not about the <laughs> eat your children stuff. <laughs> I want to eat his children. Funny, well, I don't know how that yeah. is. What you imagine is like the guy is going with knife and fork. He's going with a knife and fork. So like the, 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 the guy's there with his kids. He's <laughs> going. <laughs> Dad, who's that? It's <laughs> probably Mike Tyson. <laughs> He's come with a napkin and knife. <laughs> that is hilarious. What well, he said, what Mike Tyson said about projects and all these things you asked about it. Hit first. Mm -hmm. Hit fast. Mm. Hit hard. I want to eat your children. And, <laughs> <laughs> and hit last. Projects. The enemy will know <laughs> when the project is uh, starting. I'm gonna crush the pawn, crush the pawn, crush the pawn, crush the pawn. I think we need to end the video <laughs> right now. <laughs>